everybody. When we last left off, Akihiko told us he had something to show us and to meet him at a police station. So, let's go to the police station. Always good to give a casual nod to your friends. Oh, I thought you were actually going to take me. Okay, I guess I'm walking. Gosh, so much walking. Well, I think this is the first time we've seen the town map, and it gives us a lot of places to move in. So we'll go check all of the other places out, probably in this episode, but for now we need to go to Paulonia Mall. And we got people to talk to. What do you have to say? Short hair tosser. Oh my, how did I forget to buy shampoo? Ew, it's gross. No rush, just wait for the sale. That's even more gross. Isn't Saturday the sale day at the Ahohige Aho Pharmacy? So, hint, there's sales on Saturday. Male student, are you here for the arcade? If you want to know about the games here, I can tell you about them. Nah. The games are pretty addicting. You can end up pumping in lots of coins, but you get something in return. My strategy is to play the games that polish my charm and reflexes. You got a lot of charm to polish, buddy. Okay. Um, let's see. Business reporter got anything? Woman. Hello, young man. Say, have you heard anything about this business of ordinary, healthy people changing overnight? No, not at all. Yeah, I know about it. Well, obviously, it's all over TV. Uh, nightclub? It's not open yet. Dude, this place doesn't open until later. How about coffee shop? You wanna have a cup of tea? Well, too bad. We gotta go to the police station. How about, can I go here? Dude, the police station's next door. Get off my back, little man. Dude, you passed the police station. Turn left. Gene <sighs> pay just as bad. This seems to be the police station. Really? Ah, fine, we'll enter. Oh, there's Akihiko. Thank you, sir. Oh, these are the guys I was talking about earlier. Nice, the strong, silent type. They're very attractive, let me tell you. I was waiting for you guys. Uh huh. This is Officer Kurosawa. He helps keep our squad well equipped. Nice. We would have been here earlier, but your day took longer. This is from so. Ikutsuki san. Ikutsuki san. Ugh. Really? Sweet! You and Junpei each received 5,000 yen. Nice. Nice. You can't fight empty hands. It's like 50 so bucks. Find something you like. I generally can't buy any weapon for 50 bucks. Officer Kurosawa has connections. He's got connections with the drug cartel. But these things still cost money. Really? Of course they do. Nothing in life is free. Thank you, I haven't learned that lesson. I realize that. Don't even acknowledge him, just punch him in the face. Well, I'll see officer. you later. Thanks again. You can totally punch police officers. I've been informed about you too. I'm sorry. My job is to maintain peace in this city, regardless of the circumstances. Okay. I'm just an ordinary police officer, but it doesn't take a genius to know something strange is going on here. I'm only doing what I think is right. There's a lot of justification before you told me what you were doing. I don't have that much, but you should be able to find what you need. Okay, this is the equipment shop, basically. As you can see, they say he gives you 5,000. You start off with a little more than the bosses you found. And you can buy some stuff. Um, they do have more stuff as the game progresses. And these are for each of the characters. So, um, one-handed swords, you'll use... Jinpei uses two-handed swords. Yukari will use a bow. And the more people get, the more weapons types you can grab. Um, plus unknown effect and it looks like it tanks her hit rate for one more attack damage mine would stay the same if we buy the gladius and it's got an unknown effect so we'll buy that it'll always ask you if that's okay so yes 
Um, I will always equip the items. We'll buy some armor. Um, that'll up our defense a lot. Rash guard. High tech sandals, rubber soles. So, shoes are a good way of evading. So we'll put those on. And the more we go to Tartarus, the more money we obviously will get. And the more stuff we'll find. So now we can sell basically everything that's not equipped. It. Um, you won't want to sell items like that most of the time. You generally don't want to sell your previous equipment. Yes, we will sell that. You want to keep your uh, medical supplies though, because even if you don't think you'll ever use them, you may find out in a boss battle you're like... You only need a little more HP, and you'll lose the battle. Junpei's gonna leave you. Yep, he was in a bad mood because we only got 5,000 yen. Okay, now we're gonna go do what I wanted to, which is walk down this aisleway. Because there's a secret. There's a mysterious door. And it just happens to be velvet. Guess where we're going? How may I help you today? And now we'll just leave. It's always good to check the velvet room once in a while for missions. We haven't really started any yet, but... <laughs> We'll see what we can do. Um, we could also go and buy... This shop is closed currently. The pharmacy we could go into. The records we could go into. We could go into Game Panic. Um, but for today... We're actually going to go out. Mm. There isn't really a lot to do today, so we'll go back to the dorm. And when you go back to the dorm, you do go to nighttime. And that's what it's gonna say. So will you go back to the dorm? Yes, today we will. Evening time. Welcome back. Welcome back. Perfect timing. I'd like to speak to you for a moment. Regarding our exploration of Tartarus, Akihiko is still on the mend, so for now, I'd like you to lead the team. You never know when a powerful enemy might appear like the one you faced the other day. It's best to be prepared, or else you may find yourself in a difficult situation. So whenever you'd like to explore Tartarus, just let me know, and I'll gather everyone there. Also, since I'm sure the other things you will need, there are other things you need to take care of. You may go out at night if you need to. Well, that's it. Keep up the good work. You are now able to go at night. So we can go and explore the town. Um, tonight what we're going to do is actually we're going to go do our first full exploration of Tartarus. So you can check everyone's status and it says everyone seems to be good. Yeah, tell me each member. Okay, Yukari's, if you notice, there's a smiley face towards the middle of the screen that says good. Um, it tells me currently what she's wearing, what she's using. And the smiley face is her mood. Sometimes it'll be a really big smiley face, which is great, and that means they have the better chance of getting crits, um, evading attacks. Sometimes it's a frowny face, and that means they're going to get hit a lot more. Junpei is also in good condition, and those are the only two we have currently. So, I see, is there anything else? We're going to go to Tartarus tonight. Very well. We'll meet at Tartarus around midnight. Don't be late. I'll let the others know. As we explore Tartarus, this will be our temporary base of operations. Basically, this is where we meet at night. Deal with it. So, um, I'm counting on you. Talk to your allies to check their status or change their equipment. Okay, we didn't buy any equipment for them. All the equipment we bought was for our main character. So, what we're going to do is we'll save real fast. I almost just hopped in. <laughs> Since we're playing on a higher difficulty, we'll definitely make sure we save. Overwrite the file. Cool. So, uh, hopefully we don't get any surprises tonight. <laughs> um, are you ready? Yeah, we'll go in. By the way, I found out something else about Tartarus. A few floors up, there's a barricade preventing you from going any higher. The tower seems to have a number of these interstep 
interspersed amongst its floors. I know I told you that the layout changes every day, but these barriers seem to be in fixed locations. Therefore, I'd like you to try and reach the first barricade. You count again. Okay. So, basically, there are barricades, and we'll read this in a second, but basically there are barricades to prevent you from getting to where you're just going to be one shot all the time. So give me a moment and I'll check to see what's beyond this floor. I detect a great source of power above you. It's still relatively far away, but keep your guard up nonetheless. So bosses are those great sources of power. Let's get to our first fight. Um, we know these guys are weak to fire. And we can analyze them. It'll take a while. I don't believe they are weak against ice. But we still do enough damage to hurt them. Okay, and if you notice, I told you about the critical before. It applies to anyone in your party. There you go. With the cards, we can grab Pixie again since we fused her last time. And we'll just take Pixie after that. Seven experience, not too bad. Um, the one thing I will say is we're gonna kill that. Two enemies detected. Strike first. You'll notice currently. If you're playing the portable version, or if you've played the portable version, is that there's an option within the tactics menu, and it lets you, it lets you um, give direct commands. This version does not have that. It makes the game a little harder, actually. So we'll see how well we do. I don't know if it's really you, Jinpei. So, yeah, we'll just quickly go through some floors. The main thing is leveling in this game, and at first I'll record the episodes. In fact, I'll probably record episodes of me leveling and try to give some interesting commentary over it. There are the stairs. Um, I like to try and explore the full floor. I got hit first, so enemy advantage. Three enemies. We're at a disadvantage. <laughs> I mean, I'm okay if I kill you guys. I'm the one that gets screwed if I die. Okay. So we're gonna keep messing with skills. Not bash. We'll try Boofy. Oh, perfect. <laughs> and that should finish this one off and we'll get our experience. That's generally a good thing. Keep up the good work. To Oracle. We have Pixie, so we'll go for the cup. Alright, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is Yukari and Junpei are about half HP. And that's fairly dangerous, so heal us. There you go. Well you really didn't help me, you just helped yourself and Junpei, but you know, okay. Whatever, take credit for everything. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hurry and get off this floor because I don't know if hard mode ups the chance of some things happening on the floor. But I'd rather not find out. So we'll try and kill a few more shadows and then we're gonna get to the next floor. Three enemies detected. Strike first. Okay, we know this one's weak against us. So we'll take care of these. Another enemy defeated. Good job. Well, I thank you. I try my best. We know that that one's kind of indifferent to things that hit it. Looks like we took care of it in your turn. So that's pretty good. Okay. Let's see. There's a shadow and a warp point. So we'll take care of the shadow. We're not going to use the warp point. Yet, we may have to 
Oh hey, we know the reboot, so that's good. Oh really? Okay, so we missed. <laughs> Junpei is for some odd reason using health attacks. I don't know if I approve, in fact I probably wouldn't take it. Jeez, that one's fast! Well, it has a fairly neat soul stab. Why, thank you. I assume that's why there's a leveling system. Okay, we're gonna go for the coin, because the coin's money. Money, 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 money. It's totally not this one. <laughs> okay, we got 780M. And it looks like we just leveled up, which is good. Hit points, spirit points, up to level 4, creation of personas. And the one thing you probably noticed is you actually don't... Um... You don't get any like regeneration of energy when you level up. And that's one of the other reasons you really want to keep items. And try and attack too. So what we'll do is I think this is the last corner of the floor. We'll grab what's in here. Okay. And I'm starting to hear a noise in the background I really don't want to hear. So we're going to hurry up and go to the next floor. And this whole place is like a maze. Even the access points seem to be randomly distributed. If you feel like you're in danger, don't hesitate to return. Okay. So we'll branch out. Looks like we found an access point. Uh, we're going to remain on this floor. We actually found the stairs and the access point, which is a good thing to do on each floor. Um, I don't know why they got the advantage, but okay. Um, I believe these guys... Uh, we'll find out. I don't think they have the to Yeah, they're strong. Because yeah, it's so tight. Nice. So, as you've noticed, your partners do get knocked unconscious. But probably the biggest issue is what I'm about to run into if they kill me. <laughs> um, yeah, this is this is a lot harder than I imagined it would be. They're doing about 30 damage, so if we can take them out, I think we can handle an attack. This isn't good. Your health. The one issue with this game is if you die, <laughs> um, we're gonna heal. If you die, <laughs> it doesn't matter how great you did, um, you're still dead. So now I'm gonna try, I think I'll live through another one unless they get really lucky. They're gonna bring you Kari back because she's got heal. And we're actually gonna hope they hit her. No, I'm not actually, I'm about to die. But this is why I brought her back. Her heal is a little more effective than medicine. One enemy remains. So what we'll do now is we'll use Bash, because Bash should do a little damage to it. Oh, that that's that's not good. She's down again. Um <laughs> This could be interesting. Re I, we're gonna try this again. We'll probably die in this episode, and then we'll end it there. Actually, I think we'll be able to win this battle and end the episode there. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So, we'll get an experience card. And then we're probably gonna return to the main entrance. <laughs> and uh, heal Yukari and Jinpei back up. And I'll do that, and that's where we'll start the next episode. Thanks for watching.